Hi everyone, this is Eric Sloof at the Vienna Community Booth. This is where the bloggers are, this is the place where the brown bags are recorded and I'm joined by Corey Romero and by Tony Dunn. Tony is a VMware veteran, he's already 16 years at VMware, he's responsible for a lot of video stuff. <laughs> and to start with, uh, with Corey, Corey is the community manager. Corey, what's happening in the community these days? So, so there's a lot of things happening in the community with VExpert and with actually our communities and bloggers. It was really great about VMworld is is here at the community space, we actually get to see a lot of that mix of communities. So we get to see the bloggers, we get to see the V experts, and we get to see the, just the people who engage and read the things that are put out into the community. So there's just a lot of things happening. One of the really cool things that we've changed this year for communities, we have a new community manager for VMware, Katie Bradley, and she's doing a fantastic job. She's worked for VMware previously in the, in the partner side, and so she's really taking community as far as the platform, our, 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 our forms uh, in, you know, to a whole new level. So there's a really good things happening there. And uh, so we're working with the moderators, we're working with the communities themselves. Uh, we're thinking uh, on a global level, not just an English only level. So we're thinking of international communities. How, does, how do we support that? How do we support international languages? And how do we also roll that into VExpert? So there's a lot, of, a lot of cross things happening in communities in general. Okay, you mentioned VExpert. Uh, I believe there are two new, new tracks, one for vSAN and one for NSX. What does the whole VExpert thing mean? So the whole V expert thing means just giving back to community. And kind of what it means is, is as an IT practitioner, there's a lot of, a lot of insight that you learn in your own role, that, that knowledge that, that you, you share. So the whole thing about V expert is just sharing your knowledge back into the community. And uh, it, it's, 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 it's a global program. We've got about 400, 1,467 V experts right now. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty big program. The two subtracks that we started doing are V expert NSX and V expert vSAN. And kind of the reason why we built that is because the VExpert program got so big so quick, you know, it's, we've been nine years and we've got almost 1,500 people, um, so, to, to, so to build relationships with the business business units inside VMware, we tried to, tried to bring in subtracks uh, under NSX, so we're meeting with an NSX business unit to build a relationship and build that bridge um, for VExperts. Wow, that's great. So, Tony, uh, a question for you. When I compare the times where in 2007 I uploaded a video to YouTube and the whole video thing was still very small and you compare it these days to YouTube that literally exploded. What, what is VMware doing to get a presence on YouTube? Well, YouTube's come a long ways. That's a very small piece of the puzzle, as you know, Eric. Um, YouTube was our initial community piece. It was, it was a channel in itself. Um, but we've moved into platforms across video. Video, live video has taken off. Um, we've had community influencers really taking a hold of doing their own brand, building that channel, building that engagement outside of VMware. So um, as things come off of uh, day one and day two, you'll see wrap ups, people doing their own live video coverage. They're doing things on Twitter that, as you know, we built our whole community around Twitter. Um, but, but really, bloggers have been our, our mainstay and they're taking video to a new level. Uh, that small intimate feeling that we had back then is still here. I don't think that's, that's gone away. So community is always the core of everything. Um, we definitely find a lot of noise, as everyone does at these shows, so we try to segment that out, and as like, we're talking with NSX you know, users, we're now with AWS and talking people in the cloud, new space, and public cloud, and really trying to bring that whole conversation together. Um, obviously, new areas around vSAN and hyperconverged has been a lot of conversation, a lot of video there. So it's not just about video, I know we work on video a lot, and VMworld TV, that's, that's our mainstay. Um, but you're going to find a lot of people now in new channels that have never been seen before. And so we're trying to be more, you know, more creative. Obviously, innovation in social media is hard to come by these days. A lot of noise and really how to, how to find that right signal and from the noise and kind of dissect that with video, clip it, you know, what is it, snackable content these yeah. days. People want chunks of content. Our attention spans uh, shorter every year. <laughs> so trying to find that and really get, narrow down that message because getting that content back to the office, back to your audience, back to your users is really important. And then uh, being able to reuse that content year over year. So not getting lost in the noise. So speaking about content, what, what I noticed is that VMware is posting full session videos on, yeah. uh, on the website and also on YouTube really quick this year. Yeah. And even if you just sign up with a username and password, you have access to all the recorded videos. That's something new. I'm super excited about that. I think fan fantastic has been the evolution of how we progress with the community. People at one time wanted to have that content captured and really privatized and you know kept behind the firewall. <laughs> but now we're, we brought that out. As most conferences you know are in the tech space are really trying to share that content, proliferate the content out as fast as we can. We have 24-hour turnaround. It's on the mobile app. You can go to VMworld.com 
youtube.com and get all the sessions, but we're also going to put them on YouTube. You can get them in podcast format. You can get the, the slide decks. Um, but you know, that instant access is what everyone loves, and I think that's what people appreciate most today. So one, one recommendation if you're out there, you, know, you don't have to go to the sessions. They're all available online, and as all of our community will tell you, that's where you want to spend your time networking, going to some of the special meetups, going to the events and the gatherings. You know, the sessions are always available. Okay, great. Many thanks, guys. Yeah. And uh, enjoy your VMworld. Eric, I just want to say thanks for all the years of hard work. It's been a long journey with uh, video and VMworld TV. Always a, always a favorite. You're more than welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate it. Thanks. Back to you.